Okay, hi there, I'm Carl at Escape Trailer, and today I'm gonna to take you through a showcase for the Escape 17A and the Escape 17B. This will be a two-part video series. The first one will be an introduction to the trailer, and in the second one, we'll get into more details in terms of the dimensions, the size, the configurations, layouts, and equipment that's inside the trailer. I mean, again, if you want even more information beyond what we do here today, because this is really just a quick showcase, then we also have a couple of videos. And one video is our standard features, and the second video is our options. And they will take you through all the standard features and all the options that are available in Escape Trailer. Remember, we have more options, more customization, personalization than any other RV manufacturer in North America, I'd even say, or through the globe, and over 165 different options for you to choose from, specifically when it comes to the personalization side of things, which absolutely nobody can match. Now, Escape Trailer, if you're here, you know why. You know, principally, it's going to be because of this one-piece fiberglass, um, trailer that we make, great longevity, a generational trailer, and something that you really won't lose any money on because the resale value of these are practically the same as the, uh, the purchase price that you have on the trailer. So an exceptionally desirable trailer and a, um, a great investment for you to make. Now let's talk about the Escape 17. The Escape 17 is the smallest trailer that we make. It's 17 feet, eight inches long from the hitch here at the front all the way back to the bumper at the rear. And then you can also, you also have the spare tire on the back. It's a couple more inches. Take that spare tire off if you're reversing into a smaller garage and you're trying to make this fit. And that does happen to a lot of our, for a lot of our customers. The 17, the only trailer we have that's single axle. Um, and this trailer comes with two very distinct configurations. Uh, the first one is the Escape 17B. The Escape 17B has a bathroom inside. That kind of changes the layout. And then the Escape 17A has no bathroom and a permanent bed. GVWR on this trailer is 4,000 pounds. Okay, so let's take a quick, uh, maybe let's take a quick look inside this, inside this trailer. I'm gonna pull my shoes off. So for reference, I am six foot three. So we'll go inside and we'll see, see how I fit inside this trailer, including the bathroom. So come on in. Beautiful example here. I'm gonna start in the bathroom. This is the 17B that we have. Now you can see I'm 6'3". This is just about six foot two. So it's a little, a little shorter than me. Okay, inside the bathroom in the, 17, in the 17B. So again, for me, it's a little shorter, shorter again, but really nice part about having a wet bath like this is the ability simply to sit down and, and have a shower. I've done it. It's comfortable, it works. Um, yeah, it's good, especially when you're on the road. Okay, come inside here, Harrison. If we were in the 17A, the bathroom would be gone and we would have a permanent bed that would come to around here in the space. We don't have a 17A in the showroom, we just have a 17B, but the permanent bed would come to about here. Of course, this is the 17B configuration. So on the 17B standard configuration or standard layout, we have two dinettes, this dinette here, which will turn into a bed. And we also have a dinette in the rear that we have converted into the bed. So you can see, so you can see what this looks like. In terms of functional space, this is quite a, a functional trailer. Very nice, um, easy to move around in and get to all the, all the items that you need to, that you need to get to. So it works out really well. Comes standard with our two burner cooktop in here. So if you're looking at this and trying to figure out what all these items are, especially if you're new to RVing, this is your two burner cooktop, your range hood, your heater is down here. Remember every escape trailer comes with a heater. We wanna make sure you stay warm. It's very important. Okay, <clears throat> um, I'll sit on this bed so you can get a sense of how, how big this is. Um, it's nice, nice. These, these are four inch high density cushions. They're quite comfortable and, uh, and quite comfortable to sleep on. So lengthwise, if I was to lie on this bed, I'm pretty much feet on the edge, head on the top for size. Now, not many people lie completely stretched out in bed, but if you were to, then this is, uh, this is how it would feel. Okay, wonderful. So that's the Escape. 17B, and we quickly talked about the Escape 17A. Remember, if you find this information useful, please like and subscribe. It helps us reach out to other people to educate them on the Escape trailer. Let's go to part two.
Welcome to the detailed walkthrough for the Escape 17. In this showcase, we're mostly going to look at the Escape 17B, but I'm going to call out and show you any differences on the Escape 17A. We'll start here on the rear passenger side, where the standard is to have no outlet. There are two options that can go in this place. The first is a solar port wired to charge controller, and that charge controller comes included with your 190 watt solar panel on the top of the trailer. Second option is a 12 volt slash USB exterior outlet, and these outlets are powered directly from the batteries. Next option is the exterior access hatch. This accesses to underneath your dinette bench, so the rear passenger side dinette bench. And this is an option both the 17B and the 17A. In front of that is the standard 120 volt exterior outlet. Below on all four corners of the trailer, we have front and rear stabilizer jacks, and these are standard. These have a three quarter inch socket, and it comes with the included tool to raise or lower those stabilizer jacks. Now we're going to talk about wheels and rims. The standard are steel rims, and the option are aluminum rims. Now the specs for these tires are on the bottom right hand side. There are no options for tires. And behind those tires are your standard mud flaps, which say escape on them. Moving up here, we see the intake and the exhaust for your fridge. Next is your standard exterior LED light. There are two standard LED lights on the Escape 17 A and B. Next, we'll look at windows. The standard are framed windows. These are double pane thermally insulated windows with bug screens. And the option are frameless windows. These are top hinged awning style opening windows. And as you can see, they only open up about three to four inches at the bottom, but they're great for the rain. Now there is one other key difference between framed and frameless windows, and we'll talk about those when we look at the rear window. Now we're going to move on to awnings. So the standard is a manual carefree awning, and as you can see, this awning is exceptionally easy to set up. We have Melissa here who's about five foot two setting it up, and it is just really, really easy. If you'd like to learn more about awnings, we have an episode of What's the Difference, and this focuses on the difference between the manual awning and the power awning. So if you'd like to learn more, that will be linked in the description. Next is the option for a power awning. So of course, it is very, very easy to set this up. It's as easy as the press of a button. Moving on from here, we're going to take a look at the front of the trailer. So the first thing that we see here is the option for a front storage box. This storage box is fully made of fiberglass and it is the only option that increases your external storage on the trailer. Here's a nice view of open where you get to see that it adds a whole bunch of storage to the front of your trailer. The standard is a vinyl front rock guard, and this just protects the front of your trailer from debris being kicked up by your vehicle's tires. Moving on, we see the standard front window with rock shield. Now, an important thing to note with this window is that it is non-opening, so it is fixed, so it does not open, and it also is non-thermal. But when that rock guard comes down, that forms an air pocket, and that serves as your insulation. Below, we see your standard dual 20 pound OPD propane tanks, and these also come standard with a regulator as seen right there. So this will tell you if your tanks are full or empty and it will automatically switch over to the next one. You also get a standard cover for these propane tanks. And next we have the standard manual tongue jack, and this is really easy to use to raise or lower the tongue of your trailer. It just takes a lot of turning. So you've got the option for the power tongue jack, and this is as easy as pressing a button to raise or lower the jack. 
And moving on, we're going to move to the driver's side of the trailer. Next option has to do with windows. So as I mentioned, framed windows are standard and frameless are the option, but your bathroom window is an option and it'll come either framed or frameless depending on your main window selection. So if you get framed, you'll get a framed bathroom window. If you have frameless, you have a frameless bathroom window. Here's your standard furnace. This is a 12,000 BTU furnace and it's powered through propane. Next is your second standard exterior LED light, and that leads down to your black and gray dump valves. And of course, on the 17A, you'd only have a gray dump valve. Moving on, we have the option for an exterior shower, and this is an option for both the 17A and the 17B. Next, we see your standard range hood vent. Moving on here, talking about windows again, you have the option for a kitchen window. Now, this will be either framed or frameless, depending on your primary window selection. Here, I show you the framed. Next to it, we have the standard emergency exit window. Now, whether you get your primary window selection as framed or frameless, it'll always function the same as seen here. So it opens up about eight inches at the bottom, but it will look either framed or frameless again, depending on your primary window selection. Six gallon one way propane hot water tank. There are more details in the bottom right hand side as this is a standard or an option based off the trailer. Right behind that is your standard city water and hose fill. Next is your standard fixed power cord. So this pulls out or pushes into the trailer and it is permanently plugged in to the inside of the trailer. And the option is the removable power cord. This is my absolute favorite option. It has a sealed hole on the outside of the trailer and it makes it exceptionally easy to plug your cord in and out. Now we'll take a look at the top of the trailer. The first option that we see is a 190 watt solar panel. And of course, this includes the charge controller. Important thing to note is that you can only get one solar panel on the Escape 17A and B. Here is your option for an 11,000 BTU Dometic air conditioner. This is the only air conditioner that we offer as an option on the 17A or B. And the standard is a static vent. So this has a bug screen. It's got a cover, but for all intents and purposes, it's an open hole at the top of your trailer. Next, we have the standard for a max fan. This is a 12-volt bidirectional fan, meaning you can push or pull air in and out of the trailer. And right in front of that, you've got the option for a TV antenna, and this will pick up terrestrial TV signals. Moving on to the rear of the trailer, I did mention that the rear window is a little bit different. That's because of the standard setup of a framed window. It is a fixed window. It does not open. Whereas with the option for frameless windows, this is a split opening frameless rear windows can open up on either side. So an important thing here is that you can mix and match just the rear window if you wanted to. Now, if you want to call out our standard bubble levelers, and these are dotted all throughout the trailer. You have your standard full size spare tire with that beautiful Canadian maple leaf cover. Now around batteries, um, you'll see the standard and the options at the bottom right hand corner. We have a video that goes through all our standard and options for batteries. So be sure to check that one out. Standard is a two by two inch bike rack receiver with 150 pound capacity, and this cannot be beefed up. Now we'll go back to the passenger side of the trailer and there's a couple things that I want to call out around the door before we go inside the trailer. The first is the standard for an exterior propane quick connect. Next is the standard exterior grab handle. You've got a standard keyed entry door lock. 
The option is the number pad entry door lock. Now, an important thing to know with this is that it is also keyed, so you can use the keys or the number pad to unlock or lock the door. Next, we'll take a look at the inside of the door. And on the inside of the door, you have the standard screen door. So as you can see, it very easily separates from that main door. So you can open up that screen door and have air move in and out of the trailer and have no unwanted guests on the inside. On the inside of the door here, you've got your standard fire extinguisher. Up above here to the left, you have a couple switches and these switches control a couple different things. This one on the left hand side towards the outside of the trailer controls that standard exterior LED light. So with my other hand, I'm turning it on and off. Now, this one on the right hand side, the switch on the right hand side controls all the lights that go through the middle line or the center line of the trailer. And all your lighting inside this trailer is standard interior LED lighting. The front of the trailer is where the 17A and B differ the most. So let's take a look at the 17B first. Standard, you have a fiberglass enclosed bathroom in the 17B. So there's your standard 12 volt bathroom vent. This vents out all that hot, moist air from inside the shower area. And right below that, you've got your standard recessed mirrored medicine cabinet. And there again is the option for a bathroom window. There is your standard shower and sink assembly. And below, you got your standard toilet paper holder. And of course, there's a drain in the floor to get all that water out and into your gray tank. The standard toilet is a hand flush toilet, which of course you flush with your hand. And the option is a foot flush toilet, which has this lever at the front, which you push down with your foot to flush the toilet. And then another option is the composting toilet. Moving on from the bathroom, we'll now take a look at the wardrobe and your wardrobe is standard in the 17B. Now with this wardrobe, you have a hanging rod at the top, but you do have the option to put shelves on the inside. And these would be fixed shelves and that they do not move, but you can tell us where you want them to be. Moving on from the wardrobe, we will now take a look at the front dinette. The front dinette is standard in the 17B. And of course, this front dinette does convert down into a bed. The dimensions are on the bottom right hand side. And of course, you have storage underneath these benches. So let's take a look at the front driver's side first. Here we see the option for a toilet shutoff valve. So like I said, this is an option that you can have in the 17B. And that box that you see there is your 13.2 gallon black tank. And then over on the passenger side of the trailer, you can see that this space is completely open for a whole bunch of storage space. Next, we're gonna take a look at the option for the gaucho bunk. So as you can see, the gaucho bunk is like the front dinette, but it has this flip up bunk that sits along the front side of the trailer, which makes your sitting area a little bit smaller. 
First step to convert this into a bed is to lower your table and arrange your back cushion. So you just lower the table by taking it off the stand and then placing it on the supports on either side. Really nice and easy. Next, you will raise that back bunk and you'll see that you have these two support arms here which attach into brackets on either side. So I'll show you what that looks like. Fantastic, there you go, those just slot into place. Next, you'll lower this upper bunk piece into place. So this will sit behind that upper bunk when it is stowed away, but as you can see, this just easily slides into place to make that top bunk. So as you can see, this is a really nice bunk system to allow you to add an additional sleeping space into the trailer. I think that that top bunk would be best for a small child. And then on the lower bunk, you could put another kid or you could sleep an adult down below. Now, looking up above, we see the standard carbon monoxide and smoke detector here at the front of the 17B. And then now we'll take a look at the ample storage that you have at the front of this trailer. Fantastic. So you can see that we have lots of storage in the front of the 17B, but what about the 17A? So here we'll take a look at the front configuration for the E17A. So as you can see where there was once a bathroom in the 17B, there is now a wardrobe in the 17A. You can also add permanently mounted shelves in here as an option. Below that wardrobe, you have another storage space. Standard in the 17A, you have this eight inch plush mattress here at the front of the trailer and the dimensions for that are in the bottom right hand corner. You got these nice storage doors at the front here, which accesses to a whole bunch of storage that you have underneath this bed. And here you have another little storage space, and this is actually for your porta potty. And looking around here at the top, the first thing that we see is all your storage. You have a whole bunch of storage here at the front of the 17A. And here you also have your standard carbon monoxide and smoke detector in the 17A. We also see the option, and this is an option, the 17A or the 17B for LED captain's reading lights.
Now from here on, the 17A and B are identical. So let's take a look at the kitchen. So up above here, we've got the standard for a tank monitoring system, and this is a probe-based system. You have the option for the C level 2 monitoring system. This uses capacitive pads on the outside of your tanks to measure your tanks levels in percentage-based increments. Moving down from there, you've got your standard vented range hood, and it'll be standard as a stainless steel vented range hood. Standard cooktop in the 17A and B is a two burner cooktop. This is a glass top, stainless steel body, and piezoelectric ignition, and it is just a really nice unit. You have the option for the Eno 3 burner cooktop. This is a beautiful unit. It does not have a top, and it is not flush mounted like the two burner cooktop is, but you've got three burners. And here we see the option for a stainless steel backsplash. If you do not get the stainless steel backsplash, you'll just have your vinyl backing. Here we see another option for a kitchen window, and this will match with your chosen window selection, either framed or frameless. We're looking at framed. And here is your standard stainless steel sink faucet and sink cover. That sink cover is finished with your Formica of choice, and you can see this is a residential style faucet, so it's a beautiful unit. And there is that stainless steel sink, and the measurements for this are in the bottom right-hand corner. And here's your standard counter extension. Now you can add counter extensions as options. To see the locations for these, be sure to check the floor plan document that's in the description below or on our website. Now let's take a look at the storage underneath the kitchen. One thing I want to call out very quickly is that black box on the right hand side is your standard 12,000 BTU furnace. Next, we'll take a look at the microwave and fridge space in the 17A and B. So this is with the three cubic foot fridge. And the important thing to note is the depth of this cabinet. It's 19 inches for the three cubic foot fridge, which is the standard. Now, looking up above here, you see this mirrored section. And this is standard, and it's standard as a microwave-ready cabinet. So you can see on the inside, it has a single 120-volt outlet ready for a microwave. And below that microwave ready space, you have your fridge. And here we see the standard three cubic foot three way fridge. And this is, as I mentioned, a three way fridge, meaning it runs off AC, which is your shore power, DC, which is batteries, or gas, which is propane. And as you can see here, the three cubic foot fridge has an inbuilt freezer section here at the top. You've also got this nice little storage area right below that three cubic foot fridge. Now we'll take a look at the options in this space. So important thing to note is the depth of this is if you get the four cubic foot fridge, this cabinet becomes 23 inches deep. Looking at the microwave, this is the option for the microwave. 
So you can see that when you choose the microwave, you lose that mirror door on the front. Now looking below here, we see the option for the four cubic foot three way fridge. So still three way fridge runs off DC, AC and gas. So you just gain an extra cubic foot of storage space. Both the three cubic foot fridge and the four cubic foot fridge have the inbuilt freezer section at the top. And again, you have the storage space below the four cubic foot fridge. Okay, moving on, we'll now take a look at the dinette area. Before we take a look at the dinette proper, I wanna call out the standard manual thermostat and this will control your furnace. If you get the air conditioner, it will have included a digital thermostat to control both the furnace and the air conditioner. Above that thermostat, you have the option for the stereo with two speakers. This has Bluetooth, FM, AM, CDs, DVDs, and USB to play your desired audio through the two speakers located here at the rear of the trailer. Next, we'll take a look at the faces of the benches here at the dinette. So we see the option for the solar controller. And as I mentioned earlier, this comes with the 190 watt solar panel. And right next to that, you have your standard 55 amp converter and battery charger. Another option is the electrical management system with surge protector. And this is the display for that, for that system. Below that is your standard propane detector. So looking here at the dinette, you have the standard for a bench seat dinette. And again, these are standard four inch high density cushions. So you have a standard bench seat dinette and you have the option for what's called the U shaped dinette. Unfortunately, we don't have one to show you, but what this would do is it would add an 18 inch deep dinette bench seat to the back of the trailer. So where the camera is panning over right now. And of course, this dinette converts into a bed. The dimensions are on the bottom right hand side. Now you may have noticed that the table itself is a little bit short to fill up the full width of the bed. So you've got this filler piece there to fill up that space. And that of course comes standard. Let's take a look at the storage underneath these benches. So on the left hand side here, this would be the passenger side of the trailer. You can see that you have a whole ton of storage. So ample storage in this dinette bench. And there's that optional exterior access hatch that we saw before. Now here on the driver's side or the right hand side of this image, you can see that there's a lot of house equipment in this space. So really this isn't for storage, it's mostly for your equipment, but let's take a look at what lives inside here. So there's your standard battery isolator switch. That black box on the left is your standard 55 amp converter or battery charger. And then to the right hand side there, you've got the electrical management system with surge protector that I mentioned earlier. And of course, right there, that white box is your hot water tank. And there are a couple things to note there, which I've noted there on the bottom right hand side. And there is your 12 volt on demand water system. Really, this is your water pump. An option is to convert the rear dinette to a permanent bed. Now the dimensions are on the bottom right hand side there again. So as you can tell, this just converts it from a rear dinette to a permanent bed. So it's just a bit more comfortable and this will be the same eight inch plush mattress. And you've got this access underneath the bed to access all that nice storage underneath. And you'll have two doors on the front that we'll take a look at here in a moment. And there's that propane detector again, it just gets relocated to the front of that bed.
And there are those access doors to your storage. And you see underneath the bed that you have a whole ton of storage underneath this option for a permanent bed in the rear of the 17B or the 17A. Now, looking underneath this bed, you might ask yourself, where did the converter and battery isolator switch go? Well, they get relocated to the front passenger side bench as seen here. Next, we're going to take a look at table mounting system. The standard is this two post mounting system that you see right here. And this has an included slider. So it's like slide to side to make it easier for each person to get in and out of the dinette. One of the options is the Lagoon adjustable swiveling table mount. And now this is only available with the U shaped dinette as it mounts to the back face of the dinette. So as you can see, this swings around in a whole bunch of different directions. So it's really nice for those of you who want to have more of a lounge area for your dinette. Another option is the Springfield Marine Pedestal. And this does include that same slider that the two post mounting system has the standard. And the great thing with this one is that this is a pneumatic powered piston. So you can just pop off those locks and press the table down and it makes it really, really easy to make it into a bed. And moving on, let's take a look at the overhead storage compartments at the dinette and the kitchen. Fantastic. And moving on from the dinette, we see the standard emergency exit window. This is that internal view. And as I mentioned before, it's top hinged awning style opening windows. So it opens up like that. But of course, it'll match either framed or frameless. And here we see your standard draw down window shades. They're white with the contemporary. And here's what they look like with the maple or the oak interior finishes. Fantastic. Now we'll take a look at the ceiling of the trailer. And here we see that internal view of that standard static vent. Or you got the option for the Dometic 11,000 BTU air conditioner. And in front of that, you've got your standard max fan. And remember, this is a 12 volt bi-directional fan, meaning you can push or pull air in and out of the trailer. Second to last bit here is that we'll take a look at all the standard lighting inside the trailer. So again, these are 3500 Kelvin and they are all LED light standard. Fantastic. And finally, we are going to move on to the underside of the trailer. First thing that we see here is your standard sewer hose tube. Next, you have your standard rear stabilizer jacks. We'll see the one at the front here in just a moment. And in front of that, you have your standard 20 gallon freshwater tank. Next is the standard 3,500 pound torsion rubber ride suspension axle. And right in front of the axle, you have your standard gray water tank. And this is a 26 gallon gray water tank. And right up here at the front, you have your standard front stabilizer jacks. 
Okay, thanks for joining us today. If you have any questions, please feel free. Join us on theescapeforum.com or you can email us, sales at escapetrailer.com and we'll certainly get back, answer any questions that you have. Remember, we're Escape Trailer and we're built for you.